What is up guys, London Wrestling 99 back again for another video. This video is going to be a CZW 14th anniversary preview. Um, I made a preview video back in December for Kate Death. And I made the review actually just a couple of weeks ago. Actually just a couple of days ago. But uh, this show will be taking place one week from Saturday. I know there will probably be another match or two announced. If so, I'll probably just put like an annotation or something in this video. Because I'm really pumped up on for the show and... Uh, I want to make the video now, so, so whatever. But before I get to that, I got two uh, DVDs to show. You got Bad Blood 04. Uh, got this. Got some good matches on here. You got Hell in a Cell, Michaels and Triple H, Orton and uh, Shelton Benjamin. Should be pretty good. And then you got Survivor Series 2005. Got uh, Team Raw vs. Team SmackDown, Cena vs. Angle, uh, Flair and Triple H in a Last Man Standing match. So two DVD pickups there. And now get to the uh, preview so 14th anniversary just gonna start um, there's one two three four five six seven matches announced I'll probably be another one or two announced but whatever so uh, starting off the uh, Alex Cologne versus Drake Younger uh, this should be a really good match both Alex Cologne's really grown on me in the past year and Drake Younger's really gotten better in the ring over the past year as well I think his matches with a uh, Sammy Callahan over the, the course of the summer and whatnot uh, showed that so this should be a, a good match. I, I honestly feel that Drake Younger will win just because, you know, he was in the world title picture a few months ago and I think he deserves to be in it still. So Drake Younger to beat Alex Cologne. But it should be a good match. I'm looking forward to it. Next, you got Drew Gulak versus uh, Fight Club Pro's Chris Brooks. Uh, Chris Brooks was there last month. Well, this month, whatever. It's 31st, February tomorrow, but whatever. So Chris Brooks, uh, he, he was... Uh, it was decent last month. I didn't really see that much special about him. But, uh, this should be a decent match at best. Drew Gulak's pretty good in the ring. Chris Brooks is also pretty good. So, I don't know who's going to win. Maybe Chris Brooks will win. I'm um, just basing the fact that they're bringing him back again. And besides, maybe the Force will get involved and they'll screw Gulak somehow. So, I don't know. I'm picking Chris Brooks to win, which should be a pretty good matchup. Next, you got, uh, Ultraviolet food fight, Greg Excellent versus Chrissy Rivera. Uh, this is, should be very uh, entertaining. Real, uh, match, sorry, I'm get a drink real quick. Alright, so as I was saying, this should be a very entertaining match. Greg Excellent uh, had good, he's had comedy matches with women and he has really good matches with women. Really good matches with women being, you know, matches with Mia Yim. Comedy being, I don't know, example like him and. Uh, Kimberly from Night of Infamy, I don't, I don't know. Which was still, like, a good match, so. But Greg Excellent, he's good in the ring. Chrissy Rivera is, I haven't really seen if much from her. I don't even know if she's wrestled before. Well, like, I'm sure she's been in a match before. Well, actually, she was in a tables match, a cage of death, 13. But, uh, yeah, so she's, uh, Chrissy Rivera is usually just a manager, but she'll be facing Greg Excellent, which, this should be very entertaining. I'm not sure what's going to happen here, whether Greg Excellent's going to go over or whether Chris Rivera is going to cheat to win somehow and they'll advance the feud even more, not sure. But uh, I kind of had the feeling that Chris Rivera will somehow win, so I'm picking Chris Rivera to beat Greg Excellent. Uh, next, a match that I'm really looking forward to, uh, one of the matches that I wanted to see this year along with uh, A.R. Fox or Drake Younger. Uh, it's going to be A.R. Fox defending the Wire title against... Uh, good old Richie Swan. I'm really looking forward to this match. It's going to be a lot of high spots. It's going to be a really good match. Rich Swan was one of my favorite guys ever since he came back from CZW back at Tangled Y5. AR Fox has been, you know, one of my favorite guys ever since I really saw him just be a total standout at best of the best last year when I was really starting to get into CZW. Um, this should be a really good match. I'm, I feel that uh, AR Fox is going to win considering. I think that he's just going to hold the wire title for a little bit longer. I honestly think AR Fox has a good chance of winning best of the best this year, so why not make him look strong? Rich Swan definitely deserves the wired or junior heavyweight title sometime in 2013. I don't even know what they're doing with the junior heavyweight title because AR Fox has just been defending the wire title over the past few months. But uh, I'm picking AR Fox to win, which should be a good match, and hopefully Rich Swan gets either the wire title or the junior heavyweight title sometime throughout 2013. Uh, next, you got an intergender tag team match. Adam Cole and Jessica Havoc versus Sammy Callahan and Lufisto. I haven't seen much from... I haven't seen anything, actually, from Jessica Havoc and Lufisto. 
So I'm not, I don't really know what much to say about this besides Callahan and Cole are in it, so it should be good. Uh, they never disappoint when they're in the ring, pretty much. Well, in, uh, together at least, but they never usually disappoint anyway. So this should be an interesting tag team match, and uh, maybe Callahan and Lufisto will win. Callahan will get his revenge on Cole for losing at Cage of Death 14. But uh, I'm not sure what to think of this match, considering Lufisto and Jessica Havoc. I've seen absolutely nothing from it ever. But uh, I have a feeling that Callahan and Lufisto will win, Callahan will get his revenge on at Cole. Uh, moving on, you got a fatal four-way tag team match. Nation of Intoxication will be defending against Four Loco, against OI4K, against the Mystery Team. Not sure who the Mystery Team is going to be. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do some kind of swerve and blackout comes back. If they're going to uh, put two random guys together. If they're going to put some team from like another company like Beyond Wrestling or Chikara. I, don't, I have no idea together. I'm not sure. But uh, I have no idea who the Mystery Team is going to be. But uh, either way, there's two teams who I see coming out of this. Not the mystery team, not Four Loco, but either Nation of Intoxication, because they only won it two months ago. And I know they, their first reign was pretty short, but uh, I would, if their first reign is short I would, and they wanted a cage of death, I would at least see them having a longer uh, title reign. If not them, then OI4K definitely has to win. Definitely probably will win, because they're the most popular team in all of CCW right now. And they've just been having tag match after tag match, really good tag matches over the past few months. You know, they had one with uh, um, Super Smash Brothers. Well, that was Sammy, but just J Jake and Dave, you know, they had uh, a against AR. It got, sorry. They've had good tag matches with uh, ACH and uh, Rich Swan at Cerebral, Briscoes. Uh, I forget who they faced actually this month, but uh, whatever. But uh, this should be a good. Fatal 4-Way Extravaganza Tag Team Match. Not sure who the mystery team is going to be, but I'm sure it'll be a surprise, hopefully. Or maybe it'll be a light down. I don't know. But I uh, hope it's a surprise. But uh, either Nation of Intoxication or OI4K, I think, will win. And uh, walk out of the 14th anniversary with the tag team titles. And uh, last but not least, you have CZW World Champion Masada versus Christina Von Erich uh, in a non-title intergender death match. Now, I have no idea... What kind of death match this will be? I haven't seen much from Chris Christina Von Erich. I don't know if she's going balls to the walls, or if she's gonna like take a chair shot or something. That'll be it. Um, I have no idea. But uh, Masada and Christina Von Erich. Not sure what to think about this, but non-title either way. I think Masada will win, unless Joe Gacy gets involved some hair, somehow. But I don't really think anybody wants to see that feud continue after the. Last month, just well, this month's uh, <clears throat> stuff between Masada and Joe Gacy, just the ending and then setting up this match for versus Christina Von Erich. But uh, either way, Masada will win. Hopefully, um, not sure what they're gonna do with him next month since he's not really coming off a big feud this month. So, but whatever, I'm sure or somebody will just like get a world title match, just like you know they did with. Uh, Guys, just over the past few months, like El Generico, um, Necro Butcher, Davey Richards, Drake Younger, and uh, Joe Gacy just kind of had his feud in between all that. But uh, Masada will win, and uh, I guess that's it for now. And also, please check out the. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't know if it's gonna be a link or if it's just gonna be me typing crap in the description. But uh, please check out what I have in the description box. It's gonna be an autograph signing that day with Danny Havoc and Matt Tremont. It's going to be at my uh, dad's store, which is going to be pretty cool. So uh, it's going to be a good day on February the 9th, 14th anniversary, CCW. This, that's my little preview, and here's my little pickups here. Bad Blood 04, Survivor Series 05. And uh, I guess that'll be it for now. I think I should, as long as 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 long as these websites and what my mom's telling me is correct, my packages from Ringside Collectibles and WWE Shop should be here in the next few days. Uh, maybe one tomorrow, actually, so I guess I'll see you guys sometime in the next couple of days on the Wrestling 99. Peace out.